Oh yeah, I'm talking to you without them knowing. So everybody heard what he said. It's on YouTube right now. Yep. Everybody heard what he was saying. So then he texted me and let me know he that was his words to me. That's how he felt about me. So and, and it can't nobody like you can't judge me for dealing with somebody. That nigga was just as sprung as I was. He was sprung first, actually, like I told y'all before. He told me he loved me before I said anything to him. He said that. And I was taken aback, like, whoa. And I was, I remember I was texting Dre. It's like, this neck, this dude just told me he loved me. I told Dre, I, I said, two dudes just told me. Remember, I came to the app, actually, and I was asking y'all. I said, two dudes just told me they love me at once. Remember? Yeah, and, I, and we I, never knew who the fuck he was. And I was about. asking y'all for advice. I was like, I'm in a dilemma. I said it's a rich nigga, and it's a dude that's like got money, but then it's a rich nigga. Y'all remember I was telling y'all that? Yes, I remember. I, swear I thought I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it gangster. I thought he hooked you up with somebody. I was like, okay, whack you plugged her in with a rich nigga. I said, okay, she on her shit. I swear to God, that's what I thought. Thanks, bro. I thought I. I I had no idea what was going on. Y'all hid that shit very well. Very well. And not really. Knew, you had to be blind. Not, the whole app no, knew what no, was no, going no, on. It no, was no, very no, obvious. No, he was too emotional when it came to me, even on an app. He couldn't control himself. The only thing he controlled yeah, himself about... about it, you're right. The only well, thing he controlled himself about is when when I would get like have a flip mouth, and then he would turn around... And, and he wouldn't treat me how he would treat everybody else. And everybody be like, you got a soft spot for her. Like, why you don't cuss her out? Why you? Why she get to uh -huh. throw you off the well, stages Mika, and talk to you crazy? Well, Mika, you got to understand, like, for me and Blue, like, we've been, we mainly on this side. And dealing with you, you don't let off that type of, you never let off that type of. Because, exactly, so he was way more emotional never, than me. So as far as us being on this side, we never even, like, you know, motherfucker probably, like I said, if anything, the only thing crossed my mind was that he probably hooked you up with some with some rich nigga. That's what I was thinking. Like, cause on this side, you never spoke on or insinuate. It was the energy was never even like you know what I'm saying. Now them over there probably was able to catch certain things because he's over there and he's talking to them. And then when you come, they 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 you know, and it's a gang of females over there. So you know. But you know, look, look, look. Catch certain shit. Let me point this out, cause Crystal, Crystal Mans just pointed this out, cause I, I was, I was hoping, I was hoping nobody caught that. She said, she said when y'all did that podcast, I seen the way he was looking at you. Oh my mama, nigga! The whole time we did the podcast with Savi Third, he was staring in my face, in my eyes, and was looking at me like this, like in talking. And while he talking, he looking dead at me talking. Like she caught it. I was wondering if anybody else was gonna catch it, cause he was making me. I'm like, dang, they gonna figure it out. Like, look how he's looking at me. Like, the whole time he talking, he just, you know, licking his lips. And he just looking at me like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo, woo. He wasn't looking at nobody else the whole podcast. He was just staring at me, having the whole conversation. I swear to God. And then, when what, before the podcast, before the episode even started, he had, he had slipped like two, three times and called me baby in front of Reek and Creep and Mackie. And I'm looking like, and it, Reek caught it and he looked at Creep. But they didn't say nothing. They not going to say nothing. But I'm looking at him like, damn, like you just, you can't control yourself. Like he was, that man was stuck. Mm-hmm. Big time. And so for the women, y'all know, y'all got y'all nigga that you digging in any form or fashion. And you know that he stuck on you. Your emotion is going to start to sway in that direction like no okay, it wasn't it? even that it was like because i me like i like i told spider look i wasn't even trying to you know uh, allow myself to catch feelings for a man that had a wife right, 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 right so right, right. it wasn't until she just said where did it all fall apart it wasn't until it actually fell apart you know what i'm saying um it fell apart during somebody background loud but if it, it fell apart when um when he came to the app talking about those hickeys. Like, if he would have never came to the app talking about them hickeys, we probably would still be dealing with each other right now. But he came to the app talking about my hickeys, trying to let the world know I had hickeys. You know what I'm saying? And um, Because that's what turned him on. Like, he literally... <laughs> he liked the fact that Clubhouse would be right, right there while doing or talking about. That turned him on. That's why, like... Like, he told me before... We, <laughs> one time he was like, I want to I wanna, I wanna have sex... Why 
you hosting a room on Clubhouse and they ain't going to know what we doing. And we did that. Y'all don't even know. We was on Clubhouse. We both in the same room together with y'all and we was fucking each other brains out. That's a fact. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> and then, like I said, she... Y'all ain't shit. <laughs> I promise you, we did that. And then, um, I remember I was, I was, I was, uh, on Clubhouse talking and he was, uh, giving me fellatio. Mm -hmm. And I was just talking to y'all like, whoa, 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 da, 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 all that. And then, uh, he talking about, man, cut the cap. I'm so serious. Like, this is the, t he freaky. Like he, he, he turned on by this type of stuff. In my next episode, I'm going to reveal one of the secrets he told me because he got me messed up the way he trying to go hard on me. So my next episode, I'm going to tell y'all something that I had told myself I was never going to say. And I'm going to say, I don't care. Gloves are off. Next episode. But anyway, so yeah. So he wanted to come to the app. And um, by him talking about them hickeys and only me and him knew what we was talking about, that turned him on. You know what I'm saying? He liked that type of stuff. It wasn't until when Bam had said something and let it be known that he wasn't feeling that is when he 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 got like like hold up like you said you were just talking to this dude like why he all in his feelings about you having hickeys if you was just talking to him that's when he started going harder trying to like you know let it be known what was what and then he started texting me like yeah um get rid of that clean that up is what he said clean that up and i'm like i don't have to you already did that like that dude ain't gonna talk to me now and he was like yeah next time don't make, don't force me to do it my way. Yeah. And that's when everything started falling apart because he was like, don't talk to Bam no more. And I showed y'all the text messages on Clubhouse um, when I, when he was like, oh, and, and you, and you still been talking to that dude after we got into it. Like, cause he wanted Bam out the picture. He, he wanted me to himself. Like I said, and um, so we had kind of fell out behind that. That's where, uh, that's what prompted him us to get into it. And we y'all kept seeing us fight on stage. It was behind that. And then um that time when I shot him off the stage, and then he 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 said some stuff about my kids. You know what I'm saying? That's when I was like, oh, for real? Tell your wife who gave me these hickeys. That's when everything fell apart. You feel me? And then he called my phone like a couple of days later while I was at work, and he was like, I miss you and I'm sorry. And that's how we got back, you know, cool. And we started talking again. But that's when I allowed myself to show feelings toward him. I allowed myself to just, you know, um, fall for him. Because in my head, I was like, this dude literally could have went the other way. But he came back, you know, and ap he, he apologized. Like, and when he said, I'm, I'm, I miss you and I'm sorry, I just, I was like, I'm listening. And he went on to apologize for like 15 minutes. Like, like a grown man apology. And I ain't gonna hold you. That touched me. And I was like, okay, like, forget it. Like, I ain't gonna have no, no dudes, you know, no dudes or whatever. I'm gonna just, it's gonna be me and you. We rocking, you know? But I had no idea that he was trying to like line me up and was recording phone calls and stuff like that. I had no idea. I didn't. So that's where I was gullible at, I guess. Because I, I fell for the charm of him saying he apologized and, you know. And all that. Y'all don't understand. Like, I'm not, I wasn't experiencing the whack with honey y'all experienced on, in, on the internet. This man would go to sleep with me on the phone, wake up to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, he's told me his deepest, darkest secrets. You know what I'm saying? And I still haven't repeated them. Like, I'm, I'm like, I'm telling you, like, I didn't just fall in it. And if somebody else was like, oh, you, you, you messing with somebody for a come up. It was never a come up. It was never about a come up. Mika ain't doing nothing that she wasn't doing before she, uh, before she started dealing with whack. I already had a YouTube channel. I already had a podcast. I was already getting interviews on my own. I've never had an interview on the count of whack 100. Like I never leveled up in any way. Dealing with him. It was never about that. Like. It was real feelings there. Never asked him for anything. But time, that's it. <laughs>